time to see what Navi can do with this new update. It's the Suzy Cup, and Navi is taking on Vizier Naturalist. We are in Group E, where the top two teams advance to the next stage. Navi is currently 1-0, while Vincier is 0-1. So this is a huge match for Vincier to try to tie up the record. But hold on! Notice I haven't upgraded anything yet in my base. Well, that's because I will be buying 100,000 gems and using that to upgrade this new update in a video coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But let's jump into Gaku's Mass Hog Attack to start us off. With the very first attack, Gaku is underway. And let's see what Gaku is bringing with, let's see, the upgraded Stone Slammer. Here we go. That Stone Slammer. And he's coming out with the Hog Rider. Not the Super Hawks. Okay, I'm very interesting to, interested to see what these pro players can do. We got Yetis coming out of here. They're going to go for the Royal Champion, pulling out those maxed out Ice Golems. Okay, Navi, what are you going to do? with these new upgraded troops the new upgraded heroes look at that not he's got oh he doesn't have, he just has a maxed out queen not even using a hero potion royal champions 35 warden 62 85 king wait gaku doesn't need maxed out heroes what the but well, we do have a maxed out eagle and scatter shot on that side interesting okay and do we have yeah so everyone's looking to choose to max out the queen on each side obviously i would recommend doing that you got to max out your healers as well and he does just that a level 12 hogs crazy drops another balloon to push this queen in towards this town hall that wizard tower is going down he's going to help secure that rages this queen up defensive rage goes off there's the header out of the king and it slows him down just in time there you go but he's only got a minute 43 with this charge here good luck king coming to the left remember so he went with the stone slammer not that battle blimp to land over the top of the royal champion that tunnel is going down king's running around rages this queen up and you're gonna take out the other bop tower there comes the hog riders moving in we've got the poison lizard helping slow down the world champ hogs are moving in he still has the 14 hogs to use pops that one ability through the eagle artillery shots as the defensive rage goes off more hogs going into the tesla farm near that mile of rages up going into the eagle artillery look at this freezes that back in multi these hogs are crushing their way through towards the enemy oh, queen here royal champ's gonna work onto her Ooh, he makes her invisible. Okay, he's gonna secure the enemy queen. We freeze up the enemy, the multi, the grand warden. The hogs are continuing to move through. The scatter shot is getting distracted on some of those skeleton spells. Look at this. We've got some more balloons. We've got that queen ability. We've got a rage. We've got a freeze. And this is looking like a three star here for Gaku, kicking it off brilliant job rages are up to speed that royal champion up a little bit and hey using the maxed out hogs making it look easy and hey you don't even need those maxed out troops even if he had the warden 65 that would be a longer warden eternal toe costa is in good luck to you and he's got some super dragons we got a couple e-dragons baby dragon as well in the mix all right we're starting off with that flame flinger to the bottom side down here to help remove the cannon and eventually make its way in towards this eagle artillery. And we got a Yeti up to the top side to go for this air defense. That goes down. And that flame flinger continues its way down south. And the E Dragon's looking to get some chain value to help take out the archer tower with the balloon. There we go. Okay, now it goes down because the chains did take these buildings down. So it removed the the chain capabilities as the e-drag can now actually move in towards this town hall next rages it up make it invisible does he have an invis he does and there we go invis takes out the town hall here with this one e-dragon very nice value snipe in the town hall wow that was some fantastic value there's no seeking air mines or anything right there okay now baby dragon off to the right side flame flinger is removing that eagle artillery was down there we have waiting on his hero okay he did end up using the max his hero potions and the power potion there as we got e-dragon super dragon's gonna move in towards this scatter shot and we're getting a little uh little wheel of death you don't want that disconnection as he continues to push his way through that flame fling again some fantastic value there's a the rage out comes the cc of archers 
Freezing the monolith. He's still waiting on that Warden Eternal Tome. When are you going to use that? There it is. That Warden ability going off. Nine seconds ability. As a Super Dragon does come out of this Flame Flinger. Spinning Wheel of Death. Hello. Continues in. That Oh, wait. Does the Super Dragons come back around? He still has his heroes, but he only got a minute and 12 seconds to continue to push. Uh, this sweeper is going to be quite annoying as he tries to make his way back through this king. Then to the royal champion. Uh-oh. He's There's the king to the left. Queen is behind. There is a rage for the super dragons as they make their way in. They're continuing to make the push. Multi goes down. We have the defensive rage spell coming back slowly here. And look at this. Stars has a couple max out Teslas right here. What advises again? Am I? He goes down, freezes this up again. There's the red air bomb. Wait, does he have enough? 34 seconds. He's gonna freeze the mo freeze the scatter and the sweeper. Trying to have these super dragons continue to push through. He's still waiting on the royal champion. Now that the expo got to strike down the king, sends the royal champion to the top side. He has a freeze. 20 seconds. Okay. Oh no, the ice golems come out. And they're going to slow up this world champion. Going to burn her ability. Got the pop queen ability. The ice goes. Pops the ability. Skips across. 98%. And the RC goes down. The ice goes freeze. And it's going to fall short. 98% two star. Oh, no. Morio is in. Looks like one of the newest players here playing for Navi. And we've got a queen charge. And we got, or maybe a warden walk with some electro titans indeed it is the warden walk and he's decided to upgrade his warden first interesting so he's got the lightning spells we got the maxed out yetis here drop oh drop it a barbarian over to the left side it looks like where the flame flinger is up top there's the lightning to take out the multi the expo and the eagle artillery right there so the seven lightning spells is enough to take out that eagle as the Cannon is going to be going down. Warden's going to continue his push. Is he going to have the Flame Flinger clear up here? Warden clear and then send the Smash right into the Scattershot over towards these Mortars? Just maybe. Now Warden's continuing. Flame Flinger's going to help clear this area here. Yeti's going to go down. Just takes out the Arch Tower. Yeti might jump across. No Tesla's over there. As we have this Warden continuing to push his way in. As this Flame Flinger... Oh! Gonna get into range of this ground expo soon, so you got to distract that expo. Okay, it's just out of range. You gotta keep your eye on that as the queen moves in with this warden. Scatter shot is distracted, still waiting on the deploy this king here. Gonna take out the royal champion. The expo is now distracted here. Out comes archers and archers and archers and headhunters and super minions. But the electro titans will make easy work of these archers. No worries there as he continues in. Finds the tornado trap, pulls a couple traps. These balloons really try to protect these healers. There's the Warden Ability. Wait, yes. Warden Ability being forced there, or he just popped himself. I think he did. Warden has plenty of health as he continues his way in. Tunnel should be going down eventually. Yes, this Queen will be able to reach. Take that down. Electro Titan's moving in to take out the enemy Queen. Doesn't take her down. The Queen's Ability, but she steps into the Town Hall Explosion. Oh, no. That Town Hall Explosion there sends the Electro Titan with that into the Defensive King. We have the Headhunters taking him out. Royal Champion to the left into the cannon. We have the Yeti down south with the Wizard, but that Queen going down to that Town Hall Poison is going to hurt so much. Pops this King ability. Royal Champion into the scatter shot with the enemy Queen. Should be able to just barely tap this Queen. No, it decides to freeze her, but these Expos are so much damage. We have the defensive rage that's going to be raging this area up as well. Freezing that section. As the Electro Titan, they're trying to make their way through. RC is going to go down. And nice try here to Morio. But it's going to be a defense. Nope, he's a little bit away from the air defense because he doesn't have the time. He needs to get as many buildings down as possible. Every single one will make a difference. As it's going to be finishing off with an 85% two-star right there. As we take a look at the score... With that triple, currently five, a three star, since this was a 98, would give them a building percentage advantage. Danny the King has decided to attack next. And we've got the Super Hog Riders 
in this attack here. The hybrid, the super hybrid, maybe. Is that what we should call it? As, or, well, with super hybrid, we with super miners, I guess, maybe. As we've got that queen off to the left side, firing those rockets from that goblin queen skin. That queen goblin skin, I guess. Uh, going to charge into this defensive king. Healers are down. Gonna continue to push in towards this town hall, potentially. King is being scared. Yeti is getting some nice value. Continue to walk with the wizard down. Is that okay? Drops a baby dragon down there to help try to find a... Oh, the double sneaky air by down goes that baby dragon. Rages up this queen here. Gonna step into this air expo. Pulling out a little bit of the CC. We got Rockaloon, some archers. The defensive warden. Rockaloon doing some damage to this queen. That's a lot of damage on the queen. The freeze. Oh, freeze to the warden. That's it. But he's gonna have the force queen ability... No, he makes her invisible. Okay, but the problem is we have the monolith that is just on the other side with a poison spell waiting for him. Okay, do we have a siege barracks? Yes, siege barracks to the bottom side. We have to pay attention to two different parts of this attack here. As the hybrid's now coming in with that warden, he's deciding to follow the, the P.E.K.K.A. Queen is continuing her charge. Monolith locks onto her. Heals up into that scatter shot. Rages that queen to keep her going. Super hogs are going in. The Rackaloo goes to the queen. We're going to have the bird queen abilities. We got the ice golems coming out, but he froze them so the queen could try to take out the monolith in time. There's the warden ability. Monolith goes down as the warden ability goes off, protecting these hogs or the super hogs as they continue the way into this multi. Come on, hogs continue to push. Look at them. The hogs getting spun backwards through here. He's continuing his way in. The king did end up dying off. But he's this push though, it was looking strong, but what happened to it? The hogs are dying. Um uh where did they go? We have a wizard tower to the backside, which is gonna the, no the RC ability is gonna be forced through here. Uh we have those ho super hogs disappearing. And Ooh, wait a second. This is looking like a defense here for Gaku. As that warden's going down, drops a minion to the bottom, drops another minion down there to try to go for that ground expo. Will it be in range? Oh, it's just out of range of that air defense. Eight seconds, 90%, which means Navi is going to have the percentage lead right now in this match here in the Suzy Cup. Nice try, 93%. Kazuma is up next. Kazuma with the Queen Charge Lalo. Okay, with a recall, and he's decided to bring a Super Barbarian. But he's not maxed out his skeleton spell there. I guess he doesn't need a maxed out Skelly. As we got that Queen off to the left, got that 90 Queen there. Look at that, and there's this Skelly Donut. Okay, doesn't want a maxed out Skeleton spell. He just wants to still believe he can take that CC and the Monolith down, and... My love is down, and the clan castle goes down. Okay, well done so far. Well done, as this queen is going to make her way into the enemy royal champion. Going to push her way there, and then she's going to make her way up and around. Well, no. He could charge the queen into the scatter, and then recall that queen, and then send her down to the bottom side as well. Actually, it's a lolo, so it's not like you're doing dragons in between. So let's see. I think he might want to recall this queen after the scatter shot goes down. And then he can then send her up top here. Oh, well, I mean, she could have continued to walk left to the cannon and then maybe to the town hall. No, okay, she, she does walk up. The defensive rage near the town hall goes down. I would say he could have sent her up here. Okay, yeah, so he does kind of send her up there. King to move his way into the multi, and then Yalalo through the town hall. Unless you send a blimp for it, because that defensive rage already got activated. That queen's going to make her way to the eagle, dropping some more balloons in this this area. The sweeper's just barely covering the, the ground expo there. But the queen, is she's not walking this way. She's walked up and around to that multi-target inferno. Okay, there's the solo blimp because he sent the balloons to test for sinking air mines in this area. Makes that queen invisible. There's a lot of damage in here. Wants that blimp. But remember, the update changed to the blimp that the blimp and everything comes out right away pretty quick. And we got a giant bomb through here. And, oh, uh-oh, we got Sneaky Goblins. They are able to take out the town. Oh, no, the update changed to the blimp. Means he's not able to take the town hall down. Oh, because everything came out a lot faster, which it took all that damage and wasn't able to secure it. 
as we got a warden ability now have to go for that town hall Azuma. The defensive rage goes off. We got a sweep at us pointing in here. These balloons might just not secure this down. Oh! The update blimp change. What? Wow. We're going to have to find some different blimp. Is there no safe blimp anymore? Oh my, he's gonna send the ice golem to try to go and he sends a baby dragon to try to go into the town hall He wants his ice golem to pop. Is it gonna be timed perfectly? Oh, it's dying. The baby dragon's also absorbing a lot of damage. The ice golem needs to die. The ice golem died. No, he sent the baby dragon too early Okay, he's trying his best but the queen he sends a super barbarian into here as well He's trying ground skeletons pop and it's a 90% one star they are up nets vincere what is the plan vasquez bringing in the hog riders okay just like gaku bringing in hogs and we're seeing 28 of them the queen charge hogs might just be coming back over even the hybrid i guess we'll see as the pros kind of determine the meta they show us what can be done at the upper end of clash here at 10 15. we got sneaky goblin giant down here with that queen in front to help take out this defensive king headhunter into here slowing that king down to help secure that with that queen to move in headhunter as well air defense is going down we got the healers onto this queen taking this area down as that flame flinger is going to continue to move in there is the balloon Okay, balloons in protecting this queen. Red air bombs popping. There's the rage onto this queen. We've got an L. Wall breakers open these walls a little bit. The ground expo is being raged up. This is going to do a lot of damage to this queen here. Oof. But remember, you have those maxed out healers, which is going to help quite a bit. Giant bombs all throughout this area. Okay. Oh no, that queen ability is forced. He's forced to drop a freeze on the ground expo. The ground expo are going to. Stay raged up. No, he opens up the flame player. Everything's going wrong. He's pulling red air bombs. He's pulling seeking air mines. The Yeti and the Electro Titan need to go to the world champion to help take her down. But the queen's not going to be able to secure the town. Oh, we've got an invisibility spell. He's got to freeze it. But the queen is just going around it at the moment. Okay, he goes for the town hall. He freezes, but he just barely froze. So the queen's trying to take out the town hall. Can she do it? Queen, queen. Yes, the 90 queen was able to just secure that. Rages this queen up now. Now he's got the CC of headhunters. Uh-oh. Headhunters. There's a poison spell. She's dead. One shot from the headhunters. Oh, no. Here comes the hogs. Here comes the warden with the raw champ. He's moving his way in. King comes back alive with that phoenix. Moving into a giant bomb. Into the scatter. Another giant bomb. These hogs are dying. Pops that warden ability. He's got to spend the one heal for these hogs into this eagle artillery. And he's taking out this lava hound. He's continuing to push his way in. The raw champion pops his hound. But this is not looking good. We have a bomb tower on the backside. These hogs are going down fast and... Oh my, look at that. You definitely want to be upgrading your scatter shots. You want to be upgrading your eagle for sure because that is going to be doing so much damage. The scatters for sure because it takes more lightning spells now to take them down. So that's actually a very important defense to upgrade because of the lightning spell usage there. But and it's just going to be an 80% two star there. But the overall at the moment is six to six with the advantage on Navi's side. 91.7 to a 90.3. Stars is up. Stars is bringing 39 hog riders. There's the skeleton donut to take out the monolith. The clan castle. He's not using a bat spell onto the, onto the monolith. Okay. There's another invis. And that's going to go down relatively easily. He used the last one to be safe. And that was a good call there. Okay, secured the monolith, secured the clan castle, so that is gone. Now we have the wall break opening up a corner there. Uh oh, the blimp! No, oh, oh wait. Oh, okay. He didn't want he didn't want the blimp to like a safe blimp. He just wanted a blimp to take out the multi. Super dragon takes it down. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, so he grabs that value. Multi is down. Now he can force his queen into the town hall. And that defensive rage is already gone. 
So that queen, though, ooh, taking a lot of damage. There's the goal in front of this queen. He needs to get a queen to get healed back up. There we go. Pops this king ability to move into the royal champion. Wants to try to get that king into the scatter shot. Well, no, he will not loop into the scatter, unfortunately, as a Tesla does help bring him this way. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that king needs to get slowed down. The headhunter, is it enough? That queen's going to take a lot of damage from this king. He's going to have to do something about it. That queen's ability is going to be forced. Oh, he just... What? He just got through it. That queen is out of range of this town hall at the moment. How? That king comes back alive. He's got... Wait, what? How did that king go for the scatter shot? Excuse me? Queen's ability goes off. Oh, no, 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 no! The queen... What? Stars! How does he recover this? Okay. He has to decide. He's thinking. He freezes up that town hall. He wants the Royal Champion to secure the town, hall, the, the town hall here as the Hogs are coming into this Eagle Artillery. He freezes the town hall yet again. The giant bombs are nasty as he's continuing his way through. The town hall has been secured. He can pop Warden ability to protect these Hogs. There's a Rage. He burns Warden Eternal Tome so that Headhunters could shoot across to that Queen to help take her down as we got a Giant to the far right side to help distract that Wizard Tower as Hogs are trying to make their way through. But the defensive Rage through this multi-target Inferno is going to be nasty doing so much damage he did kill off the defensive queen but that scatter shot on the backside does lock onto the phoenix which will now lock onto the hogs and the hogs are going down oh my oh my the queen not able to take out that tunnel that king was so much damage he if he dropped that second headhunter it would have done so much damage to that king and he wants match at this point here. 84% two star. Nice try to stars. Next one up is Cub coming in with 38 hogs. Is it another skelly donut? It looks to be. We have bat spells. One skelly. We got the invis. You need at least three invis to take out the CC. There's one. Skelly invis. Wow, okay. There's two. Okay. He wants to take out the scatter. There's three. Okay, he's got to use a fourth one because he used a skell an invis very, very early. Removes the model, removes the scatter, and removes the clan castle. Okay, hey, wait, he's doing something similar where he's dropping the blimp to go for that multi. And he's got rock losing a dragon rider, not a super dragon. So he takes out this area, and the dragon rider, oh, does not take out the defensive rage spell there. As we got the king to the bottom going into these skellies here. We've got the king. He's going to go into this air defense. He's doing something very similar to what Stars just did. Sitting in the... So look at this. He's got multiple headhunters. He's got two of them. And that king went down so quick. And now the golem is protecting this queen. His queen's got way more health here to push in. So this king's going to move through this air defense. Help secure that. Queen needs to make her way towards this town hall. Maybe royal champion... No? Okay. Wait. We got a hall. He's going to pick off this air defense to the left. The eagle artillery has activated. King's going to burn his ability. Going to go for the wall. He's going to take out this air defense. Or at least going to help funnel the hogs to go in towards this eagle. As the queen's going to easily make her way to take out the town hall. The defensive rage. She's got plenty of health. So that town hall is going down. So this could have been the attack that stars could have done. So this might just be a three. Oh, tornado trap pulling this queen back. No. She dodges that tornado trap. Hello. And we got the hogs. Oh, he picked off the corners to send the hogs directly into this air eagle artillery. Giant bombs. Warden ability through this area, finding springs and more springs. Oh my, oh my. Headhunters, more giant bombs. Hello. Headhunters are looking to remove the enemy queen. They did through the nine second Warden Eternal Tome, level 65 there. As he got more hogs trickling in over here, he can heal them up again. There's the heal, there's the freeze to get the hogs through the scatter shower with the Royal Champion. It's not looking too bad. Those hogs to the left going to the Wizard Tower. They took out the scatter. They need to take out this bomb tower. The air expo is going to come down to the Royal Champion, helping to clear this area as he continues his way through with the RC ability. And it's looking good. So you need that queen to secure those town halls. The skeleton donut mass hog attack looks like it's doing work against some of these bases here. Wow, what an attack taking down Kazuma with a skeleton donut mass hogs. So that queen taking out the town hall behind the use of the golem. Well done right there as we don't have to wait any longer 
for the three star and the lead in this match. Klaus is in. He must triple to keep them in it. And he has decided to bring in some super dragons. We got super dragons. We've got lightning. We've got a clone. We've got invis. All right here. The Yeti's up top. Drops that barbarian off to the right. Testing for Tesla's over there. Finding a giant bomb. The Yeti over to the left as well. Taking out the air defense. He rages up this E-Dragon to get some chains. Damn. Oh, he can damage the Grand Warden altar. And then the second set of chains takes it out. Be oh my. He knows exactly where the chains go. Look at that. The defensive RC is going to lock onto the E-Dragon. And... Eddie e Drag goes down, but it took out a few of these headhunters from that CC lure. Sends a super dragon into here, but that's gonna be a problem. He needs okay, because those those headhunters are gonna do work and slow down that super dragon. But they retarget onto that warden, which took a lot of damage, but he's okay here. And he's gonna blimp. Oh no. Guys, another blimp. Another blimp. Another blimp. There's the warden ability. He's moving in. Super dragons take out the eagle. He's moving all the way to this town all blimp! 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 Okay, it's super minions. Okay, okay. I was a little worried. That's why he had the clone. That makes sense. Okay. If you have something on the ground or super wizards, it's a it's a problem now. As these super minions secure the town hall, secure the ground expo. Queen's coming our way to the left. But we have that clan castle still there, which he didn't lure out the full CC. He needs to kill off that CC so he doesn't lure it out with his heroes here. But these super dragons are going to be going down pretty quick. They don't have much health. Oh no, this multi stays up. Guys, this is a problem. This is a problem. The multi-target inferno over there is going to stay. Oh, it just goes down, but that CC is going to stay. That means that he's got to deal with whatever's in there. Either a lava hound or some ice golems is going to come out of that CC and going to be a huge problem here for Klaus. But can he get around it? Can he have his queen or something pull that CC so his RC doesn't get locked down to it? He still has king ability. Four balloons. How is he going to do this? He knows that the full CC lure did not pull, get pulled out. King's going to run his way around this base. We got a couple balloons going for the cannon to help force this king into this air defense. Going to pop this king ability. Oh, the scatter shot's locked down. He's going to retarget once the king gets out of range. And there's the king out of range. There's the royal champion. Ground skeleton. Queen can reach over and grab the scatter. He can make the hound and stuff invisible with an invisibility spell. RC pulls the poison. Wait a second. I was still in this, guys. He's still got a chance. That king will come back alive. There is indeed the lava hound here. So he could pop this queen ability. He can make the hound invisible. So the queen stops going for it. He does. Look at that. He makes it invisible. He's got 20 seconds. He's got to freeze the hound in place so it doesn't come over to his heroes. No, look at that. The queen. No, the royal champion turned around. But the queen's going for it. The queen helps secure it. And it's a three star from Klaus. What? Oh, my. Wow. So if we take a look at this, it's right now currently 11 to 9. And Vincere is down by two. Percentage. 92 to a 91. So they've got the lead up percent. They could win with a two star. Oh my. And with the final attack here, all they need is an 89% two star for the victory. And super bowlers are the plan. All right. Super bowlers it is. This is big. As we've got that flame flinger off to the left. Ju what? How is that out of range of the Archer Tower? That is not fair. That should be in range. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, that Archer Tower goes down. We've got Barbarians, Wizards, around. Queen is going to try to charge away into the scatter shot. Queen is going to move her way in. There's the healers here. There's the balloon behind this queen to test with the Seagare Mind. So queen steps directly into this compartment. There's the rage while the flame flinger works on the right side. Ground skeleton does get pulled here. We have that scatter shot going down. Yeti off to the far right side. And that Yeti's going to distract the mortar. The defensive rage goes off. Warden is down behind. We got a sneaky goblin up top a little bit as he continues to push his way through. He does not have any recall, so he's pushing his way into this section. Gonna take out the Royal Champion. This headhunter might just lure out this clan castle. Depends on where it runs. And Queen's walking her way up a little bit. 
And he's got no wall breaks. He's got a jump here. This queen and warden are going to go for the wall together. They do. And do we see the super... Yeah, super bowlers may just come in to the top side up there. He knows... Well, actually, I was going to say he knows he got to go for a three-star. He doesn't. He just needs the two-star 89%. As we got witches working. Oh, the witches got absolutely smashed by the wizard tower there. That was an unfortunate use of just wait. Those witches, they didn't get really too much value other than one building. That was a lot of camp space. As this queen's going to walk through here. Out comes rock loons, ice golems, these super bowlers, phrases the rock loons. The healers need to go to the queen. They are not. They finally do come back around. There's the jump to lead towards this mo monolith here as the king goes up and around. The super dragon comes out of that flame linger we got a minute left he's got to continue this push there's the rage ice golem absorbs some of these shots from the monolith as he continues to push in we've got that monolith going down raging up these super bowlers warden ability to help protect him as he makes his way to the town hall but they're gonna funnel everything to the town hall that's gonna be a lot of damage they will be able to survive that we have a defensive king on the backside with a single target in front of him, but he's got an invis he's got a poison he's got a skeleton spell to provide that distraction it's not looking too bad here he's member all he needs is the 89 percent that's it 89 percent you don't need a three star but it's looking like it might just three and there's the 89 there's the 90 and vincere is going to be victorious making that queen invisible and what an attack here with the super bowlers he's got an rc ability to skip through these final buildings there it goes and it is a three star take it down mario's base for the victory gg what an attack here we take a look at the final score it is 12 to 11 and vincere defeats navi here in the suzy cup